So yeah, once you land on the black box home screen here, if you can all see that now, you'll notice that we have a new uh, landing page available called Gym Designer. Once you click on that, that will take you through to a login page. If you already have an account with us, go ahead and log in. And if you don't, feel free to set one up and this will take you through to the black box gym designer landing page where you can start to bring your dream facility to life. So from here, very straightforward, we're gonna start and we're gonna create a brand new gym. Create it and call it whatever you like. In this case, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. It's my new gym and we're gonna let this load up. So we're gonna cover off five sort of areas or topics this afternoon. I've got to cover off initially our walls, windows, and doors. So essentially the structure of our gym. So if you need to replicate a garage, you know, an outdoor building, a, a garden room, uh, whether that's a room within the house, you should be able to find a shape uh, that fits within that scope for you. Once we've built that up, we'll look at how to move around, how to add our gym equipment, move it about and position it. And then we'll finish our gym off by showing textures, colors, things you can add to the wall to actually make your space look the part at the end. So once you have clicked on create your gym, you'll be presented with a room shape. So these are our default room shapes. And within this, you can select each one in turn. So depending on the shape that you're trying to create, you can pick a template as a basis to start off with. And from here, you have the options then to rotate those buildings. So you can turn it to visualize it however you would prefer. You can actually mirror that image. So again, flipping it in reverse, and then you can actually mirror it vertically. So there should be a good mix uh, of shapes that you can choose. But for today, I'm gonna to keep it nice and simple. We're just gonna go for a bog standard garage gym setup. So I'm gonna choose a nice rectangle shape here, and we're gonna click next on the next screen. From here then, this is where we can set our dimensions for our gym. So here we can set each, each length of each wall, however we want it to be. So in this case, let's go for an eight meter, um, maybe by six meter space. So we'll just change this. You can either click the plus icons here, um, or you can actually manually type in the dimensions of the space you're looking for. So 800 centimeters, and we're gonna change this to 600. And that's gonna give us a fairly decent sized home gym set out. The third option is ceiling height. And this is really important for when you start to bring in objects such as our rigs and our racks into your space. Our rigs and our racks have certain height restrictions. So they start at 2.2 meters and go right up to 2.5 if you look at the Samson range. So make sure you set the, the ceiling height as accurately as you can, because when you drag those rigs and racks into your space, that's visually gonna tell you how much headroom you have when using the rig and rack for pull-ups, chin-ups, and all of those types of movement. In this case, the sort of average space we would get is around about 280 centimeters. If you have a bit less than that, drop that height down, and visually that's gonna give you the correct um, sort of spacing that you need. So if you're happy with your setup, let's hit start, and this is gonna take us into the actual gym designer uh, interface itself. So you'll be presented with what looks like a 2D drawing or a layout of our gym space. And then on the left-hand side, you'll notice that there are four icons. You then have a viewing panel window within here, and obviously then our gym itself. So to move about, it's very straightforward. Holding the left mouse button down, you can drag essentially your gym wherever you want it to be. And with the mouse scroll button, you're able to zoom in and zoom out. So again, those two movements themselves just allow you to hone in on certain areas of the gym. Uh, and that's in the 2D mode. So once you're here, there are windows defaulted into the space already, but perhaps those doors and windows don't line up to your own space and they'd like them to be moved about. It's very easy to do. You just click on a window, for example, here. We'll zoom in a little bit, click and hold with the left mouse button, and you can actually drag that window wherever you need it to be. So in this case, I think we should put a garage door maybe on one side of our space, maybe just to replicate sort of a garage gym. So I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna make a double window on this wall here. So from here, and you'll notice that after I've clicked on a window, I have been basically presented with a whole host of other options that you can do. I'm not gonna get into a huge amount of detail here, you know, but the basics that we need to understand will probably be extra windows, maybe an extra door. In this case, clicking on that would bring up a whole choice and selection of doors. You can 
go crazy if you want in here. Uh, there's even elevator doors down here. But essentially, I'm just going to grab a garage door. I'm going to bring it across, and I'm going to place it at this end of my garage setup. Again, you can actually change the dimensions of that door and the windows work the same. By simply clicking on the object, you can either manually change the height and width here by simply clicking the plus and minus button or manually typing it, or you can just drag that door out until it's slightly larger and that fits it into the space. So that's how simply you can restructure your building once you have the basic shape, add your windows, add your doors and position them however you wish then you're ready to start actually kitting out that gym facility. If you ever need to delete anything, and this is a this is true for everything in the gym designer, if you click on it, you'll notice there's a trash can icon beside it. Click on it and the item will be removed from your gym. And you can also duplicate things using the duplication icon to the left, and this will create an equal item beside it, which you can drag and place anywhere in the gym facility. So from here then, I think usually what I find best is I like to get my flooring into my gym because at the end of the day, the flooring is what is going to be the base of everything. Everything's going to set on top of our flooring. Um, so from here, my best advice would be to click on the actual center of our floor and you'll see that it kind of covers it with a sort of translucent sheen on it. You know that you've selected the flooring and in our viewing window, the room type and material icons will be available. So from here, Click on materials, and this is going to take you to our material screen where you can select flooring options. For black box products and for flooring that we, pr we provide, then my recommendation would be to type black box into the search menu here, and it's going to bring up, you don't even have to worry about changing this icon, just type black box into the materials box, and it'll bring up a selection of our flooring for you. So choose whatever you want. There's rolled flooring there and the most common and most popular selling item for us for home gym setups, et cetera, would be our empty slip tile. There is rolled flooring and there's also turf that you can apply to your facility if that fits you and what you're trying to achieve. But in this case, let's throw in some empty slip tiles. You can see straight away, we can see that in our facility. So if you're happy with the flooring, very straightforward, nice, quick and easy done. We can then move on to starting to kit out the, uh, the gym itself. So along the left-hand side, we covered this sort of briefly at the beginning, I just mentioned that they were there. You have paint materials, and then the third one down is browsing our catalog of products. So by clicking on that, you have a search bar. You have basically black boxes, what you want to make sure that it's collected on. And then below that, subcategories, products, rigs and racks, and finally, storage. So generally, what I like to do is select our rigs and racks to begin with and try and select the rack that is suitable for our space. It's going to be the focal point of most spaces. It's where we're going to do a lot of our work, a lot of our uh, weight bearing uh, work. So let's choose, let's go for a folding rack, maybe for this space. Um, so in this case, generally, I like to keep it all. If I'm searching for something, choose all categories. Binary comes up and drag it into the space. I usually drag it in, let it sit somewhere, uh, and then zoom in a little bit to have a look at the item in question. So again, once it's in the space, like the windows and doors, you can click on the item, holding the left mouse button down, you can drag it wherever you want. By clicking on it and letting go, you'll get the menu options up. So you have the option here to raise from the floor, and you have the option to rotate the item as well. So again, if you're trying to fit something into your corner, rotation tools are really useful for doing that. In this case, I'm going to take the binary and I want to place it against my wall. So I think I'm going to use this back wall here as where my rig and rack is going to go. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that the bar element is sitting out. And then I'm going to drag it against the wall and it should click. You'll see the dotted line. It clicks up against the wall, let go, and it's now positioned. So once you've done that, you may choose to add a few extra things at this point. But once you've done that, then you want to visualize and see how is it looking in my space? Is this the right the right position for it and how does it feel when I'm actually standing in it. So what I would do at this point is go up to my 3D viewer at the top. So at the minute we're in 2D mode and we'll click on 3D. And this brings us into like a flyby mode where essentially holding the left mouse button, we can now start to visualize the space in three dimensions, which is pretty cool. And as we start to add things in, you'll start to see that this is a really nice way to understand the space that you're working with. So this is how we look at it from a top-down view. But to get really into the detail, if we click on first-person view, which is the little figurine figure at the top here, 
that's going to bring us right down to ground level, right into our space where we can actually see the boundary rack right up against the wall, and we can go right. This is looking, this is looking good. It's a good wall. There's plenty of space either side of it, and now we can start to add some extra items into the space to really make this, you know, start to pop. So again, once I'm happy with that, come back out into 2D and really quickly let's throw in a few extra items. So maybe we'd like to throw in maybe a bench here. So we'll grab our utility adjustable bench when we pop that in there and then we'll rotate it round have it sitting like that need to get a bit of storage in here so again we'll take out bench we'll maybe change the subcategory down here to storage we'll just wait for uh, it to catch up with maybe a second i'm obviously too quick for it today <laughs> There we go. So, yeah, subcategory storage. And this gives you some of the options then within our storage selections. So, dumbbell racks, we have um, kettlebell racks, we have some of our base camp storage. But in this case, I kind of like the idea of throwing in some maybe a corner unit. And I think I'm going to use this as an example of how to rotate an item to make it fit into a corner. So, this might end up making me move my binary rack. So, in this case, bringing in our corner storage unit going to click on it and then we're going to rotate it so it fits into this corner over in the left hand side so again rotate it though it fits feels right and then we'll drag it into this corner here again just the way adjustment needed to make it fit properly there perfect now it fits flush against each wall and we're going to leave it there so i think now that we've done that you know what great how to try with the binary don't really like it there anymore let's bring it and let's rotate it and stick it on the opposite wall this is the joy of the designer it's the fact that you can put it in think it looks well initially start adding new items and then you need to readjust very easy to do it grab your bench and we'll put that back into the space again like this so that's how we get a storage in again let's have a look at it in three dimensions to see if it fits to the height and everything of the space so again there we go looks pretty cool in the corner there right Really nice, compact way to store our dumbbells and our kettlebells and our wall balls, bands, mats, etc. And it even comes with an extra pillow bar if we need it. So maybe we finish off this space in terms of kit at this stage. Let's throw in a barbell hanger with our barbell on it. So there's a two bar one. Maybe bring it across here. We'll stick it on right beside our rack. So again, it's quite tiny. So let's scroll and zoom in. Make sure it's sitting the right way. There we go. Pop it against the wall. And then we're going to throw in maybe some plate storage for the wall in this case. So here's our wall plate storage. Here's a cool trick here that's really handy. Let's say you want to line them up on each side of the rig. You don't have to drag a new item in every time. Let's click on it. We'll duplicate it. And then we're going to drag it over to the other side like this. And let's say we want to place one below. So this is the best way that I can explain how to do this. You click on the item. Duplicate it, line it up exactly over the top of the one that was already there, and then go into 3D mode. And this is another feature of Gym Designer that's really useful because you can move things from within 3D view. So I'm going to click on that plate set that was there, and you'll notice we have two arrows, and this means it'll move on a vertical line. So it means you can perfectly line up. If you've lined it up well in the 2D view, you simply need to drag and drop that down below to line it up with the plates above. You can, if you wish, move this around in 3D mode, but I find that it can get quite untidy for you and you can find the plate will end up sticking out here somewhere and you have to go back into 2D mode to, re to reposition it essentially. So line it up in 2D view first of all, and then drop it down into place. You can drop that all the way to the floor if you need to. Obviously you have the manual positioning as well. If you really need to, you can actually Put a pure calculation if you know you need it at a certain height come across here and type it in here and it will position it for you appropriately so so far we're kind of looking something like this we'll just add in another plate holder just to make this uh, otherwise my ocd is going to kick in uh, as it's not lined up nicely uh, we'll just drag it in here back into 3d mode click here and then we'll drag this down to match on this side so we've got our bars we've got our plates in we've got a nice rack and we have a bit of storage so you could go crazy you can add in some concept rowers whatever you fancy something you know to really fit it out 
But I'm going to move on now and just do a quick demo of how to really start to finish off our facility to make it look the part. So at the minute, our walls are white. There's nothing on them. They're looking really plain. And we all know that when we get a, into a space, we want to make it look the best we can. So then we can start adding textures and we can start adding paint to our walls. And it's very easy to do this. We'll go to materials first of all, and let's say we want to add, maybe there's a brick, already brick in there. It's a garage or there's already like a, like a feature wall within that space. So in here, you can change the material. So we'll go down to stone and see what options we have. And we've lots of different brickwork patterns. So let's say we've got, maybe there's a bit of a white brick in there. Let's just grab it, see what it looks like. Drag the left mouse, mouse button, click down, and you'll get two options. You get exterior wall and interior, and obviously you want to add it to the interior in this case. Once you've done it, pop back into 3D mode, and look at that. Now we're starting to make the place look the part. As you can see now, we have a lovely brick wall in there. We've got our kit attached to the wall. You know, Perhaps we're going to start adding in some things over here, maybe so, like some cardio equipment. The place is going to start to come to life. So back in TV mode, let's add the same thing. Maybe we'll add paint to this wall. Perhaps this wall is just painted. Choose a color. Uh, I guess most popular safe, most interior designs, everyone will paint the walls gray at the moment. So again, we'll pop that down on the inside wall. And again, we'll nip into 3D view and just see how that has made our place look. Again, you can choose whatever color you want. If you're thinking of painting a room, stick a color on and see what you think. And you can see right away, again, we're starting to make the space pop and come to life. And you'll notice then that as we've been doing this, on the right-hand side of this screen, you'll notice that it's been itemizing everything you add. So everything you have added into the space is now priced and it's telling you availability and it's given you like a full kit list, essentially. You're essentially creating and designing that gym ready to be ordered and delivered um, within our lead times. So there's two ways you can look at it here on this right hand side, but you can also click on the shopping bag icon over on the left hand side. This will bring up a visual of all the items that you have added into your gym space. So that is a very sort of quick introduction from creating your space, moving around in 2D mode to adjust windows, walls, adding doors, adding your flooring. You can actually add wooden flooring if you want that if you got into here, and maybe it was a, we weren't planning to put down a full rubber floor, and you can do that. Then you add your items and equipment. You can rotate, move, move them up and down a wall, place them however you like. If you don't like where they are, place them somewhere else. And at the very end, go in and start decorating and creating textures on walls so that you can make the space come to life and really give you that visualization effect of what it'll look like when it's all installed. Then at the very end, once you've done that, you're actually then able to go through and actually go to checkout and process an order to have it all delivered directly to your home. So guys, hopefully that has covered sort of at least a general and sort of brief introduction, albeit very brief introduction to the Gym Designer feature. Um, and at this moment in time, uh, I'm happy to take any questions at all. Um, please feel free to drop me a quick message in the chat box. I'll uh, demo anything that I didn't cover or anything that you're not sure of. And uh, yeah, I'm here for the next 10, 15 minutes to do that. And you change the color of the ceiling as a question from Catherine. Um, you cannot change the color of the ceiling um, in the feature of a gym designer at this moment in time. Um, so you go actually in the design, you'll see that it is a white color. There's no way of changing the ceiling color at the moment. Um, you do have the option of removing the ceiling. So I know in some cases, some people might prefer to remove the ceiling so that when they are in the above view, the ceiling doesn't get in the way of actually viewing their space. Uh, but the ceiling is just there as a reference point within the facility um, so that you know if things are going to fit within it. So at the moment, no.
just scrolling through here, a few more quests are coming in. Give us one second, guys. Just going to read them out as I get them. Can you use the gym designer on the iPad? As far as I know, there shouldn't be uh, any limitations to that. Um, as long as you're, I mean, most iPads uh, have browser access. So as long as you're um, within, I don't, I, I'm not aware. I might have to come back to you on that question, uh, but I don't see that as a limitation at the moment. Um, so yeah, I, th I think the answer is yes to that question. So guys, while I'm while I'm kind of waiting for any more questions that come through here, um, I can actually show you maybe a few other wee things that you can do. Um, so really interesting thing if you needed to say, I'm just going to bring up the 2D view again here. This is part of the construction side of of actually creating your space. So if you're actually clicking on a window and door, um, to move it about, and obviously you're then basically presented with um, the list of sort of doors and, and walls and all of that there, you can actually draw a surface, um, which is this feature here. So once you select the surface draw, this will allow you to say, split your room in half. If you're not planning to floor the entire surface of your gym or your space that you have, you can actually click on draw surface and then click basically four, four points like this in a rectangle, and that'll create a surface which is separate to the main gym floor. When you click on that, it acts as a brand new floor, and then you can actually go in and say the floor is, it's a concrete floor. You, you can actually add that in as a separate piece of the uh, gym space, because I know that not everybody wants to go in and floor the entire space that they're using, and maybe they're planning to use um, only a portion of it. Well, you can actually do that with it. And then that allows you then visually to see um, and also see how much flooring you'd need, I suppose, for that space, um, as opposed to doing the whole facility. And again, coming back out of it again, you can see that that is actually separated part of the floor off as a different material. You turn that into turf very easily. So you could actually have that drawn, uh, go back into material, uh, type in our black box again, and you should see our turf material here. If you click that, it'll change it to turf. And perhaps you wanted to put in like a meter long track that runs up the middle of your room. That is a really handy way to visualize a, ta like a turf track within a space. So that's a feature called draw surface and you can access it when you click on one of the windows or doors, it'll come up as a build feature on the left hand side. So that's a, that's a pretty useful thing uh, to use actually. How high would you recommend the ceiling if you wanted a, a pull-up or chin-up rack, et cetera? Uh, William, it's a good question. Um, gen generally speaking, um, you know, if you have sort of, I mean, ideally you'd want to have about 30 centimeters would be amazing if you had that type of space, obviously for for, for head height, but 20 centimeters, I mean, the way I look at it is if you're doing a chin-up, it's it's essentially the uh, the distance between the chin and the top of your head is kind of what, this, it's kind of the space that you need to have above the chin-up bar. So yeah, 20 centimeters would be an absolute minimum for that, so that you have the space for, for your head. 30 would be brilliant. That just saves you from getting really close to the top of the ceiling. Um, anything lower than 20 is going to be tight. Um, so yeah, you would need to ensure that, that that sort of clearance is there for you. Just waiting to see you guys if there's any more questions coming through here. So again, guys, in terms of I just gonna maybe cover something else off while we're waiting for anyone to come through. Oh. Can you go back through flooring again? Yes, Jonathan, absolutely glad to. I know that this is a feature that some people um, have been asking for recently. So essentially, once you have your building drawn, so if you imagine it, I'm going to actually remove the flooring from this drawing really quickly. Um, so let's delete that out. So when you've created your facility, you'll be presented with a 2D drawing of the room like this. 
So if once you're in that space, if you click just right in the middle of the room, it's going to bring up in the viewing window a blank template for you to view. It's under the material section. When you click on it, it'll bring you through to either paint or materials. And it's from here that you can type in black box into the search bar. And it's going to bring you up our rubber floor options. So in this case, we've got charcoal rolled flooring, we have turf, and we have our anti-slip tile, and then we also have a dark gray rolled flooring option. You can choose whatever one you want by simply clicking on it, and it's going to insert that flooring into the entire space. So it's just going to basically fill it from wall to wall in the entire space that you have. If you need to do part of that floor in what I did with the turf, you need to actually draw a surface, which is this option. You then draw the size that you need within the space and treat it the same way as the floor. So by clicking on that surface material, back in the materials and then choose what you want to appear there, whether that's a wooden floored section, a carpeted section, or in this case, I've thrown a turf track in and then click out of it. And that's your floor within the facility. So hopefully that makes sense to you and that was helpful. Yeah, William, absolutely. So, so that, that turf track, that that essentially would be a prowler track. So you could put a you could put a sled on that, a prowler sled, and you could actually use that for that. Absolutely, use that design or that surface draw tool to draw wherever you need it to be within the space, and that'll represent what you're trying to achieve within it. So Neve, yeah, you, you were asking just about the uh, options for um, a, the, someone who's six foot wanting a, a pull-up bar rack. I mean, our racks are 2.4 meters. Would, would you know is is going to be um, pretty pretty close to be able to hang from the bar. Um, it, it would be more head height that would be the concern. Is making sure that um, in in the space you're trying to put a rig a rig or a rack into that you have the ability to actually pull your your chin over the bar. Um, I think it's a similar question that was asked earlier on. Um, just by, I think it was, I think it was William actually asked the question just relating to how much headspace or clearance you would need. Definitely a minimum of twenty centimeters above that is recommended. But you would need it to be at least two point four meters. Our Samson rigs are two point five meters, which would give you uh, extra height if you needed it, Neve. But it would have to be Samson range. Our Goliath range stops at two point four. Uh, yeah, 2.4 is the Goliath range, Nave. If you uh, look up any of our Goliath range, they are 2.4 meters. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I'm happy to take questions for a couple of minutes. If anyone has anything else, fire three. Again, just on the uh, on the items, um, you know the filters are, are filters are super useful. Um, but if you're not sure, you're unsure of able to find anything, the, the search works really well. Just keep it on black box and type in whatever you're looking for within the search box, and it should bring up what you're looking for. We are adding to this uh, product list all of the time. So um, if it's not there at the moment, we ha we are working very hard to get as much equipment into the gym designer for you as possible. Um, so. Um, yeah, if it's not there, uh, we should we should be uh, planning to get it there for you. Most things seem to be there at the moment. We're maybe just trying to get a bit of extra storage and stuff in. I know that there's some smaller base camp storage units would be super useful for you guys to actually have within the space. So we're working on getting them in as quickly as we can. Uh, can you choose brick for the walls and then paint on top of that? Uh, unfortunately not, Jonathan, no. Um, it's, it's pretty restricted to just um, one, uh, one texture, one option. So... Um, once you once you stuck brick on, you're you're kind of you're looking at a brick surface, um, and it's coloured according to what's in the system. If you paint it, it's just going to be paint. OK, 
Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. And um, just just before I go, um, I would like to just let you know about something that is happening at the weekend. You maybe heard some teasers about it, but seeing you guys have been uh, willing and, and and wanting to hop on a, a bit of a demonstration this afternoon, you guys will be the first to find out about it. But this weekend we are launching a competition that you can all that you guys can get get signed up for and get your name in the hat for, uh, and that is to win. Um, a gym, a home gym fit out, uh, like a basically a state of the art black box gym fit out. Um, so it'll be your chance to get your name in the hat, opportunity to win. What a great prize that would be to have it basically a gym, home gym set up, paid for, uh, in a go. There is, there is obviously a limit to what that'll be, but the details of the competition will come out and tell you what the uh, value of that'll be. But it'll be a really, really good uh, competition to win. So keep your eyes out, guys. Nobody else knows about it. You guys are the first to hear. So you guys will have to jump on uh, on getting your entries in um, once it's once it's out. So keep keep an eye on the social media channels for the announcement and get your entries in as quickly as possible so that you know that you're in for a chance. But guys, thank you so much for joining us afternoon. I really hope it was useful. I believe that we're potentially going to have this uh, presentation recorded, so it may be available um later if you need to look back on it and review anything um i believe it might be available for you later um but yeah thank you so much for your time guys and uh, i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and don't forget to keep an eye out for the competition get yourselves entered uh, to win a home gym thanks everybody